The Sandcastle Competition, which is an annual event that brings thousands to Galveston Beach each year, is no more. Yeah, the nonprofit organization claims the Galveston Park Board is suddenly making them pay thousands of dollars in fees to host it there. That's right. Fox 26's Sherman Desell joining us tonight with an explanation. Yeah, this event has been a part of that area in Galveston for about 40 years, and the nonprofit group says that the park board came up with a long list of things to pay for in order for them to host it again. But the park board tells me that the cost of hosting events are going up, and they had to draw the line somewhere. I was going to suggest to our board that we just continue this event. The American Institute of Architects in Houston tells Fox 26 their popular sandcastle competition has been discontinued. The organization has hosted this event to raise money for its philanthropic efforts, including teaching kids about the profession. Two weeks before their August event, their executive director says the Galveston Parks Board mentioned money. He says, I, need, I have a contract I need you to sign, and we need to talk about the money that you're going to pay us for this. And I was like, well, we've never paid anything. The AIA says this event brings a lot of economic impact and tax incentives to the area. The Galveston Park Board agrees that it's beneficial, but it only receives user-generated fees and not hotel tax. Park Board leaders say staging an event is getting more expensive due to inflation. Staff security and maintenance for last year's Sandcastle event totaled $30,000. Last year we brought in just shy of 4,000 cars, and so it did produce um, roughly about $60,000 in revenue uh, for East Beach, and that is significant for that beach, and uh, that's why it's important for us to continue to host this event. Which is why the board recently approved a consolidated fee schedule, a public document on the website that shows the rental and operational prices, everything from paper to parking lots, and comes with discounts spread over three years. Lor Fiche says the board is only asking the AIA for 11% of their expenses as part of a cost recovery. So we're not trying to get a full cost recovery of every security officer, every you know, cost we have associated with the event. We're trying to just make sure that if their event isn't successful, we want to make sure that we're not paying for their event if there's not success. The AIA says they've been asked by the board to host the event twice a year. The park board says that could help with overall cost, but the nonprofit group says after nearly 37 years, the popular event may just have to sink. Do I want to be the guy that killed his 37-year-old program? No. <laughs> but I also don't want to be the guy that makes us bankrupt because we continue doing something that's not economically feasible. Now, there's also some rebate incentives built into the park board's new policies. But as far as 2024's event, the nonprofit group is saying that the future is uncertain. But they will definitely have about an 8% gap in their upcoming budget. Reporting from the newsroom, Sherman DeSalle, 526 News.